you're pregnant, you may want to avoid that second cup of coffee. While obstetricians have been telling pregnant women for years to limit caffeine intake, a new study from Norway gives more reasons why, associating caffeine with low birth weight and prolonged pregnancy. And since it's Wendy's Wednesday, Dr. Diane McAllister, the chief medical officer at Centura's Porter Hospital, is uh, joining us. And this morning we're looking into the study, try to get, get a closer look, uh, to find out the takeaway for pregnant women. What should we uh, learn from this? Well, I think the big takeaway is that the researchers found that certain amounts of caffeine could not only decrease the birth weight of the infant, but it actually stretched out the length of the pregnancy by some amount of hours. Ooh. So that's of concern. That is of concern. And so is low birth weight. Let's focus a little bit more on that. So what the researchers did is they took 60,000 women and followed them through their pregnancy. And they didn't just look at caffeine from beverages, but they also looked at chocolate and desserts. And what they found is that for every 100 milligrams of caffeine that someone consumed uh, throughout their pregnancy, the birth weight went down by an ounce and the pregnancy was five hours longer. So it sounds immaterial, but it adds up um, with Dosing. Yeah, so they found a correlation here. Why do researchers think that happens? You know, they, they're not really sure yet. They think it may be something to do with the caffeine, but the study wasn't set up in a way to give cause and effect okay. kind of answers. So what are the current recommendations for pregnant women and how much caffeine they should consume? The current recommendations are that women um, in America, the recommendations are 200 milligrams of caffeine or less per day. Okay. And do you expect a change now as a result of the study? I think absolutely this will make people go back and look at the recommendations and see if there should be some changes made. I also expect we'll see some more research related to this. So 200 milligrams is kind of the key number. Talk about how much that is, essentially. So, you know, an average cup of coffee in America has between 90 and 200 milligrams of coffee. I brought coffee cups because it's this small size that mm -hmm. contains the 200 milligrams. The size that Whoa. I like to use and that many of us use <laughs> is two and a half times this. And so it has a lot more caffeine. This yeah. is like 600 to 900 milligrams of caffeine. So you obviously dosing is important. And then you need to think about how much chocolate you're drinking. Tea has 35 milligrams of coffee. Sodas have about 90 milligrams. So it adds up. Yeah, it does. So what's your recommendation for pregnant women? Well, you know, obviously they should talk to their own obstetrician, but in general, this would really be in favor of giving up the caffeine during the pregnancy um, to help your little baby grow better. And, you know, who wants to be pregnant longer than you have to, oh, even yeah. by five hours? <laughs> no, no doubt. Before you go, yesterday we did a story, I don't know if you saw it, about green coffee supplements and, and using it for weight loss. What's yes. your medical assessment of that idea? Well, you know, I actually looked up the study, and for one thing, the study only had 16 people in it, mm. which isn't a very valid study scientifically, and they lost uh, 17 pounds over 22 weeks. If you look at the Weight Watchers literature, over 22 weeks, you could lose 22 pounds on Weight Watchers. So I think, um, you know, it might be, I don't see any scientific validity to it. You know, inconclusive it sure, at this point, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> inconclusive, and it's, I mean, we all wish there was a magic bullet, but I think it comes down to eating less and exercising more. Oh, okay. we've heard that before. Yeah, we yeah. have. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> all this information from Dr. McAllister is on the DenverChannel.com. Click on Staying Healthy, and you'll find it under the Lifestyle tab.